Greetings and in this short video presentation we're going to see how we go about fixing the certificate error issue up inside of our RD web. So in the email that was sent out to all the students there was a certificate in a zip folder that was attached. That certificate must be saved to your desktop or to some place where you know you saved it to. So we're going to need that certificate because we're going to install it into your certificate store for your particular host machine. All right, so what happens is you go up here and you click on an application, regardless of what it is. It asks you to open it, you say yes. You get this little warning right here. You say connect, you're gonna type in your password. So when you attempt to launch the application, you get this next certificate warning. And if you say yes, you'll get a big error message across the screen letting you know that the site cannot be verified and that it's not trusted and it's not going to let you go there and to, that you, you need to contact your administrator. Well, we have fixed that problem, but I'm going to need your help so that we can complete the process. So now I've got everything to open up, but the way I did that is I installed the certificate onto my local machine. So let's see how we do that. So you save the certificate to your local machine. I've saved it to my desktop. Once you have the certificate installed or downloaded, all you have to do is just right click and select install the PVX. That brings up this import certificate wizard. Just start stepping through it. There's also the password included with this. So when we get to that point, I'll show you how to find the password. All right, so you're just gonna step on through the wizard Here's where you type in the password. I've also included the password in the email. You're just going to pop that in there. You're going to say next and then automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate. Say next and then all you have to do is click on finish. I've already installed the certificate and that's why it's working for me. But everybody who wants to access the RD website and have access to those applications must have this trusted certificate installed locally so that your machine will not try to stop the applications from loading. So that's all I have for this short video presentation and if you have any problems or you have any issues don't hesitate to contact your instructor and I'll talk with you later. Bye.